Well, in the 90s, there was one address everyone wanted to move into. Melrose Place was full of love affairs, revenge, drama and the most beautiful people on telly. It's a heady mix, isn't it? Oh, isn't it? Uh, the series made global names out of its cast and for one star, the West Hollywood apartment complex was a pivotal stop in her incredible career. It was in her 20s that Daphne Zuniga's star really started to shine in Hollywood as one of Michael J. Fox's girlfriends on Family Ties. Alex, I hope my being chosen valedictorian isn't going to affect our relationship. Oh, no. Oh, no, of course not. Don't be silly. Smarty pants. <laughs> Alex! She hit the road with John Cusack on the big screen. Told you you shouldn't have taken that ride. Yeah, that's because you know everything, right? That's right. And played it for laughs in comedy mega hit Space Force. My hair! He shot my hair! But it was her move into Melrose Place that really made her a household name. For more than 100 episodes, photographer Joe Reynolds caused a little trouble fell in love and even found herself at the centre of a dramatic custody battle. No, no, no. She's me. lying. It's my baby. No, no, no. It's Hand my baby. Please, baby. Don't, please don't take my baby. Three decades on, Daphne's teamed up with her famous co-stars to share behind-the-scenes stories from TV's wildest address. There was no intimacy no. coordinator. <laughs> no intimacy <laughs> coordinator. Grant said to me early on when I came on the show, he's like, we do proper kissing, which is open mouth and no tongue. And I'm like, Good okay. Wow, so many big <laughs> revelations. And for more, we welcome Daphne Zaniga. Daphne, welcome to the show. Uh, gee, it was so good having that little walk down memory lane. It. What was it, Daphne, do you think about Melrose Place that just made it, I guess, so addictive and has made it so enduring? I, you know, we've gotten over the years... Um, I used to live in an apartment and just like Melrose Place, people would tell us and we knew all the neighbors and there was all this drama that went on. Or we get, we wish we lived in an apartment building like Melrose Place. Um, and I think there was something about the community, even though we all turned into psychos <laughs> and were just backstabbing and uh, betraying each other. But I think there was this camaraderie and this togetherness that people really longed for and liked and talked about with each other, sort of at a water cooler, you know, at their jobs the next morning. Oh, 100%. So let's fast forward to 2024. You've reunited with Laura and Courtney, a.k.a. Sydney and Alison, for a rewatch podcast. It's called Still the Place. I mean, how much yeah. fun is this looking back over old episodes and dissecting it? I mean, it's so much fun. We, we wanted to do this just because we love hanging out and it gives us an excuse to hang out every week now. And we're going back and watching from the beginning. So Laura and I aren't even in the show yet. So it's mostly Courtney, can she remember this? Can she remember, by the way, we just had an episode where she kissed Grant. Well, Allison kissed Jake for the first time and she didn't even remember it. And I was like, well, Joe remembers her kisses with Jake. Uh, so anyway, it just, it brings us back. It's very interesting. 30 years on, you kind of regress. You kind of like are... Uh, it's thrown back into the feelings a little bit of what was going on then in the it. show. So Grant's show played heartthrob Jake Hansen on the show and his appearance on the podcast, is it fair to say, caused or well, quite a stir. Let's have a listen. I remember when we shot the credits. Yeah. That's where I remember meeting everybody on Melrose at right. Johnny Rockets. You remember the I credits. got in a fight? Oh. No. <laughs> you, with who? Okay. Some guy pulls up on his motorcycle. <laughs> like right next to the curb and he starts revving his engine and and you guys all started kind of laughing and i i looked over and i went i went hey they're laughing at you not with you, <laughs> you remember that? and he went what <laughs> they're laughing at you not with you so you picked a fight yeah <laughs> <laughs> what's in the water at melrose place none of you have changed <laughs> no i mean he ha no he hasn't changed and uh I, I hope his personality's changed a little bit because he's a father and a husband now, but I was not surprised to hear that story because that was so grand. I, I love hearing you admit that you all called it, it turned into, quote, psychopaths. <laughs> uh, there was so, because there were just so many wild storylines over the seven seasons. Do you ever look at the script and think, oh, I mean, even given, you just go, what the, what's happening here? 
Oh, constantly. I mean, every week it was kind of like a surprise and ex you were excited because like, what am I going to do this week? And they always just heighten the bar, heighten the bar. You always did something you couldn't believe you were going to have to do. So it was like exciting and also unbelievable. Mm. We were kind of unbelievable. It was kind of unbelievable to us as it was to the audience every week, you know. Okay. Um, so, Daphne, uh, sorry to jump in. We wanted to play one of the morning show's famous games with you, if that's all right. It's called Co-Star Connotations. Okay. The big stuff. It's easy we're going to show you some of your famous co-stars from throughout your career and you tell us uh, a couple of lines about them, maybe the first memory that comes to mind. You ready? Okay. So we will All start right. with Melrose Place. We're going to start at the address. Co-star Heather Locklear. Hilarious. I don't think people know she's as funny as she is. She's beautiful. She played a uh, real, you know, bitch on the show. Excuse my language. <laughs> uh, but she's hilarious. <laughs> Very sweet. Oh, lovely. Well said. What about John Cusack, who you starred alongside in The Sure Thing? Yeah, so John, when I met, he was 16. I was, I think, 19 or 20. Uh, and he was adorable, and I had a huge crush on him. Uh, but then he started acting like a 16-year-old, and I was, like, really annoyed by him. So kind of what you see in that show <laughs> is sort of really what was going on in that movie was real life. <laughs> How, good, love, how good's yeah. the honesty? I love the honesty. It's good. Let's move on to Michael J. Fox. Uh, we saw a clip earlier. You starred with him on Family Ties and then Spin City. Yeah, that's right. So, um, comic genius. Absolutely a genius and very generous with that and a lot of fun. Um, I knew him throughout those years a little bit and uh, he told me how to bring the house down in one of my lines for, um, uh, for Spin City. He said, you're funny, but I know how to bring the house down. And he said, wait, one more beat. So he knew so minutely how to make the joke work. Wow. Oh, how generous. That's, that's generosity right there. Isn't that's it? Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely to hear. And TV's toughest cop, Mariska Hargate from Law & Order SVU. What comes to mind? Oh, I mean, strong, badass. I, I love what she's doing now with um, that role. Um, for protecting women and um, mm. violence against women. I love that she's doing that in her real life. Uh, real through and through. Yeah. Strong character. Uh, you starred in a Bob Seger music video with Matt LeBlanc. Uh, it was called Night Moves. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, you know, I hadn't met him. And to this day, I don't think we've actually met. Maybe briefly on that video. Mm. But... It was a surprise to me. We had this really sort of sexy look at each other, you know, like he looks up and then I look up and and that was that. And I was like, wow, that was really fun. <laughs> but we <laughs> never really hung out on that video. <laughs> look at your hair here, Daphne. I don't know if you can wow, it's like great. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot yeah. of it. It's fantastic. Um, this has been such a treat chatting. Um, I, I, it'd be great to hang with, you know, Sydney and Alison and Joe and uh, relive all these classic Melrose placements. Good on you. Well, I really hope you guys um, get all your listeners to listen to us. We've just started this podcast. Like I said, we're having a blast doing it and coming up with memories of behind the scenes uh, on this podcast. And uh, all the guests will be on. All of our castmates will be on eventually. So I love, love it. So, so here for it. Thank you so much, Daphne. Thanks, you Daphne. You can catch up with the gang from Melrose Place on Daphne's podcast. It's called Still the Place. And it is out now.